so tired this morning. I just did my red light therapy mask. It is the first day back from Christmas vacation. And I purposely booked myself a workout class so that I couldn't make an excuse not to get up. But I wish I eased myself into it more because I've been sleeping in it all week. So we got this. We can do it. It's January. It's the most motivating month of the year. So we can do this. It's just so painful and so hard sometimes to be disciplined but you gotta do what you gotta do you know if you want to work hard and accomplish things so anyways let's go get ready for the day <gasps> oh god in the car i'm very proud of myself but i'm such in a rush i had to bring my bone broth with me this morning it's just one of those days i totally could have gotten out of bed earlier but i decided to snooze it and i was being so lazy this morning i just couldn't accept the fact that i actually have to get out of bed but one of my new year's resolutions is to actually give myself a little bit more time in the morning because i have been rushing every single day before the break so today i learned my lesson that i don't want to be rushing anymore so i'm going to be definitely waking up earlier starting tomorrow so that's what we're going to do starting for the rest of the week it's not a good feeling to rush and i feel like i always put myself in a position where i'm rushing and it's so easily avoidable by just waking up 10 minutes earlier going to bed 10 minutes earlier it's so easy to do but for some reason it just it's so hard in the morning to push yourself out of bed i just hate that feeling of not being able to relax in the morning and knowing that like i have to keep watching the clock i'd rather just get to enjoy my morning more and make it more of like a sacred peaceful time rather than me just always being worried but okay let's go i'm going to oxygen yoga and fitness for their power core class i actually have a code for you guys if you guys want to get a one day free trial with them I will put the code on the screen and the link and the code in the description box But i'm so excited for their class today and it's the best way to ease myself into the new year I know it's gonna kick me in the butt today because I haven't worked out in so long It feels like so wish me luck, but i'm gonna get going because we're running late For the day and i'm about to head out to go grocery shopping i have no groceries whatsoever we have had no food in the fridge for the past i want to say almost the whole month of december because i got super lazy and i didn't want to do anything i went to the store like once or twice but just to grab a couple things but i haven't done an actual big grocery shop in a long time and it's such a bad feeling when you want to go eat and you literally don't have food that's something about adulting that i've learned if me or Joel don't go grocery shopping, nobody does it for us. Like we don't have parents that go for us. So that's something about living alone that it's like, wow, like, yeah, that's great. You need to, obviously you need to get your own food, but it's like when you live with other people, especially your family, you can rely on them for go, going out to buy groceries for everyone. But it's just us. We have to buy our own groceries. That just sinks in sometimes randomly when I get lazy. But yeah, when I'm in like a lazy mood, I don't want to do anything. And that includes grocery shopping. That includes leaving the house. I just love to turn on hermit mode and do absolutely nothing. So that's why. 
but I did clean out our fridge right before the new year, so that was great. I don't really need to do any cleaning in my fridge, which is nice. I basically have like a blank slate just to throw my groceries in, which is great. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over to the grocery store and I think I'm gonna buy like everything in there because we have nothing. This is my outfit today. Just really casual and cute and comfy. I want it to be somewhat put together, but also comfy. I also really need to get my nails done badly. I was gonna book an appointment today and then I didn't. So maybe I'll go tomorrow or something, but these need to be done. But yeah, so this is the fit and I'm gonna head out of the house now. Okay, I'm just about to leave the house. I realize I need to sell for gas so bad, but I have gas gift cards, so I can't complain about that. My parents gave me a gas gift card for one of my gifts for Christmas. I feel like that's just such a good gift idea because there's nobody who drives who wouldn't use one. So if you ever need like a quick gift for somebody, get a gas gift card. It's a pretty good idea. It's kind of boring, but at the same time, it's very, very useful. I just had to run up to get my reusable bags because I forgot them. I always forget them somewhere and I always end up with like one small one in my car because whenever I unload my groceries, I bring my bags up and then they just don't make their way back down sometimes and then I get to the store and I'm like oh my god but I'm gonna be making a point of actually bringing them in Vancouver they don't even give out plastic bags anymore so you need to buy bags like actual reusable ones at the store so it's gotten pretty annoying and I've accumulated a lot of reusable bags so I just have to be diligent about remembering to put them back in my car every single time but anyways okay let's go fill up on gas and get this grocery shopping done <laughs> I have recently been obsessed with the SZA album again. These songs bring me back to early 2023 when this um, album got released. And these songs just bring back so many memories. It's insane. Listening to them is just so nostalgic, even though it wasn't even like that long ago. But I'm obsessed. This album is probably like one of my top favorite albums of all time. I love SZA so much. If you guys have never listened to this album, please go listen to it. It's just so good. <laughs> It's around 3 30 and it's already getting so dark because today is kind of a gloomy day so i just turn our kitchen lights on for some light but i'm just honestly i know i said this before but i'm so excited for this new year and i just feel some sort of like really good energy and i feel like as a collective we're all feeling this and it's like an energy a good energy like i've never felt before going into this new year and it's making me really excited it's just such a great feeling and whenever i feel like this i know that i'm at a high vibration and it just feels so good to be in that. I just know, especially when I'm in a state like this, when I'm really happy and I have like a good vibe, I just know that I can manifest anything I want so quickly. And it's so crazy how that works. Never forget how powerful you are. Your thoughts really do create your own reality. And I want to talk about this more on my channel or like when I start my podcast, I really want to dive into stuff like this more. But I feel like we go about our day-to-day -day all the time and we just kind of forget about how important our vibration is and how important and our thoughts are once you become aware of them your life will drastically change and i promise you that just being in a good headspace and filtering your negative thoughts out is so important and it will manifest you like amazing things in your life and you will be abundant in all areas of your life talking about abundance it's not only money but it's happiness and it's success in all areas of your life so when i talk about abundance that's what i mean but anyways yeah i just wanted to come on here and say that i just have really good energy for this new year i hope you feel it too i just feel so inspired and so happy happy and i don't know 2024 i feel like is gonna hit different and i'm turning 24 this year which is kind of scary but i don't really want to look at age like that anymore i just want to kind of see it as a blessing to get older because it's so true like not everybody can you know turn the next year older so i don't know i just have a really good feeling about this year let me know if you guys feel the same way but yeah time is going by so fast too which is crazy i just feel like the universe is working in our favor for our manifestations to come quicker um that's how i'm viewing like the time going by thing fast as but anyways i just wanted to come on here and say that that don't forget you have the ability to manifest whatever you want and create your dream life nothing is too far out of reach you just gotta take the necessary steps to get there and it'll happen
I promise you, it's all in the mind. So here is a little grocery haul. I stopped off at Meridian Meats and I got ground beef for the chili that I'm gonna make and then two ribeye steaks. I got some eggs. I really wanna get an egg holder on Amazon for my fridge. I hate having like different cartons and we go through a lot of eggs. I got some apples, pepper for the chili, butter, cucumber. I got some meat to make a sandwich with or snack on. Got some popcorn, got some yams, got some beans for the chili, some corn, chicken broth, that's all for the chili. Then I got these, these banana bread crisps i've never tried them before so i hope they're yummy but they just really intrigued me and the ingredients are really really clean so i'm excited to try these and then i also just got some grass-fed beef jerky i got some avocados some kiwis i love kiwis coconut water and some potatoes and that is a little haul oh i also got this kombucha which i'm gonna crack open right now and drink i always love treating myself when i go to the grocery store with a little drink or a snack and i love trying something new this is the synergy winter edition kombucha synergy is like my all-time favorite favorite kombucha brand so i'm gonna crack this open and drink it while i put away the groceries i put this cute little bow on my tripod and it makes such a big difference like it's so cute i just thought i'd show you guys because if you add bows to anything it makes it look so cute <laughs> I just changed into something a little bit comfier because I'm gonna be making dinner soon and I just wanted to do like a half PJ moment. But first, I am just gonna go on my laptop and log some of my financial stuff for the year. I was so bad with doing this last year in terms of just like keeping track of everything and now it's biting me in the butt. So <laughs> one of my New Year's resolutions for this year is to stay on track of like logging everything, doing it day to day instead of doing it at the end of every month and just leaving it for my future self. And what I've realized is another goal this year is to do more things for my future self rather than kind of be selfish in the moment because there's a lot of times where I don't feel like doing something and I'm like, oh, I'll just leave it for me later or tomorrow or next week. And then my future self is like, oh my God, why did I do that? Like, I'm so busy. Like, I don't want to do this now. I don't have time for it. Those little things really do add up and make a big big difference in your day-to-day -day life i just want to make sure that i'm honoring i guess you could say my future self more making decisions and doing things in the moment so that i will thank myself later because a lot of the times when we do things they don't really have a short-term payoff but long term they really do pay off so i just want to do more things like that where i'm kind of saving myself for the future and even though i have to sacrifice a bit in the present it's okay because it's way better that way so if you guys are like me and you've been kind of living the past year like that where you're very kind of selfish in the present with yourself and you just like procrastinate things, especially things you don't want to do, like financial stuff, I hate it. Don't even talk to me about that. But it's like, it's something that has to be done regardless of if I like it or not. But if you guys are like me, I would suggest being nicer to your future self and just getting things done. You will be so much happier that way. When I don't do something and I know I have to do it, it's like this pounding headache in the back of my head that is just nagging at me 24 7 and it's such a huge weight off of my shoulders when i actually get that thing done and i'm like wow it wasn't actually that hard because you make it up to be some sort of big huge thing that needs to be done but in reality it's like you just gotta sit down and do it and you'll be fine so i just want to conquer more tasks in the moment and not leave them for myself and i just feel like it's gonna be so much less stressful this way and i'm really excited i kind of set myself up so it's easy to do this and that's also important too is making your daunting tasks easier for you to do whether that's breaking it up in little baby steps or buying some organization folders so that it just makes it really easy for yourself to organize things whatever your case is i would suggest doing that because trust me you will love yourself for doing that um that is what i'm doing yeah i just thought that i'd share that because this year that is like one of my main priorities actually and i didn't even talk about this in my reset video because it's something that kind of came to me later on when i was thinking about more goals and i'm like wow like no this is a big thing that I need to work on.
here's how the chili ended up it looks so good i like my chili a little bit more liquidy than the average but i'm so excited to eat this i'm gonna pair it with like tortilla chips and avocado looks so good <laughs> started on Wednesday because I took Monday Tuesday off because it was New Year's Day but honestly since I was just getting back into a routine this week this week feels like it was so much longer than it was so I'm really happy that it's Friday to be honest I've been putting oil on my ends every single night before I go to bed because I never used to really put any oil in my hair throughout like the week when I'm not washing it I've been putting this whey oil I have noticed every single morning now when I wake up my ends are so soft and they used to not be so if you guys are struggling random but if you're struggling with dead ends and like your ends not being that soft just buy any hair oil oil i even have this one from the drugstore it's a little bit more hardcore but this is an argan oil from ogx it really does wonders and my hair is just like visibly and just me brushing it out and feeling it i can tell it makes such a big difference so anyways i just wanted to share that because something i've been recently doing let's get ready for, for my workout <laughs> to our class i'm actually on time today guys because i made a point of waking up earlier so that i'm not rushing i set my alarm at five and then i snoozed it until twice until about 5 20 so i'm very proud of myself because like i said i just hate the feeling of rushing so it was just so much smoother this morning and i felt so much better about everything and less stressful and now i actually have time to talk to you guys without rushing you know what i mean it's so funny how once you get out of your routine it's kind of like your new normal and you get so used to it honestly though when i was out of my routine i wasn't feeling good when i don't work out my legs start to ache and i'm not kidding you like i'll be sitting on the couch all day and my legs will start to ache and i'll be like what the heck what is wrong with me like i need to have movement in my day or else my body starts to physically hurt so taking a break for christmas obviously was really good and needed but also it's like i just love my routine so much and if i don't do it my body actually starts to physically hurt and i just don't feel as mentally good at all it just like goes to show how important it is to have a routine that you love and that really makes you feel good because it's night and day i'm telling you as much as i love resting and i love my off days they're only good if i earn them in a way if i'm just lazing around and i did absolutely nothing it just doesn't feel as good obviously you have to have balance with absolutely everything in life but i just feel like i really found my balance and i love it okay anyways let's get going i'm so excited for this pilates class today home and hanging on my neck the bracelet matches a set my brother name is tina dollar stop all that back and forth over the net my mama wish i would have went corporate she wish i would have went exec I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, boy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block, cause you know how sticky it get. Hey. 
you know how sticky it get, hey, you know how sticky it get, hey, you know how sticky it get, hey, she want me to play with that cat, hey, she love how I make it on wet, hey, you know how sticky it get, hey, get, hey. honestly a pretty boring day for me it's been gloomy the whole day and like it's kind of a storm outside right now not gonna lie i don't mind it because these kind of days i try to appreciate and not get depressed about them it is kind of cozy i just applied this aquaphor lip repair i actually really like it i have so many random like lip balms around my house and in my jacket pockets that new ones just always appear and also lip liners they're just everywhere i'm always using a random one but yeah i didn't do anything really fun today i was just editing on my computer all day i had to film a sponsorship and edit that submit it. I had my workout this morning as you guys saw. Let me know what type of content you guys want and like to see from me. Do you like when I just vlog at home? Do you like what I'm doing now where it's a mix of like productivity and chill? I'd love to know you guys' feedback on what type of content you like watching from me. I do really try to show more than I talk though because I personally hate when YouTubers they just talk about what they're gonna do and then they never show it. So I do try my best to actually show stuff. Like I bring my camera into my workout class which is insane. I get some weird stares sometimes but I do it for the content for you guys. But on a side note, finally, I'm redoing this room. So when we first moved in, I didn't really have that big of a vision for this room. I didn't really see myself wanting an office at the time. And so I just have this makeup vanity that you're sitting on here and then clothing rack and a dresser. This room is really plain. Since we moved in, I never really liked it. I don't know, I feel like I can do so much better, but it just kind of came to me when I was taking the holiday break. I realized I really want an office space. I have always kind of worked on my laptop in random places in the house and this has been my designated makeup room and closet so I don't work in here I just do filming in here but not actual computer work and I don't like that I hate having my hard drives everywhere my memory card sitting around my laptop on the couch like it just I feel like my stuff is so spread out and I really just want a space where I can go sit down and go to work for a bit and actually focus because when I work downstairs on the table I see the kitchen and then it distracts me because I'm like oh maybe I should make something to eat maybe I should clean there's just too many distractions and I don't feel like it's a space where I can just sit down and focus so I realized that I really wanted that because Joel just bought a new computer and he has a really nice desk setup I kind of got jealous and I'm like wait I want this too. So Joel's gonna help me redo this room. I'm so excited. I have some things that I ordered on the way, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video for this room transformation. I ordered wallpaper, you guys, from Love Shack Fancy. It's gonna go on this wall behind me and everything will be revealed in that video, which should be coming at the end of the month. So only a few more weeks. This room renovation is not gonna take long. It's very like simple stuff, but I feel like it's just gonna really transform the room. So when I'm talking at this angle, you guys are gonna see wallpaper behind me. It's just gonna be so cute. I'm only doing this one wall but i'm so excited i'm gonna put curtains up i ordered a new desk so i'm gonna get rid of this vanity and put a smaller one in and i can't wait to have a desk space finally so excited to be able to come in here and get work done and also do my makeup have my clothing i feel like it's gonna make me feel so inspired changing up your space and environment is so underrated starting the new year i also wanted something to change spice up my life somehow in my environment so this is just such a good way to do it and i'm also going to be getting an imac like a desk Top. so now i'm gonna have my laptop and a desktop and i'm really happy for that because it's just gonna feel more stationary and you know professional but it feels like it's just gonna really inspire me for this new year so if you guys are feeling a little bit stagnant and uninspired in whatever category of your life just think about your environment and do you surround yourself with things that make you inspired even if it's just rearranging your room somehow can make a huge difference it's something to also to look forward to i just feel like i'm constantly craving a little bit of a change every so often but for this new year i'm like we gotta go big and redo this room so and yeah i also want to get a new camera i'm filming on the canon g7x mark ii right now and i want to get the mark iii but it's out of stock literally everywhere me and joel were calling places in vancouver and none of them had it they were like oh we've been back ordered for a long time now and yeah that was like the next thing I also wanted to do to change things up a bit and get better quality but I just love having the G7X because it's such a portable size. As soon as I can get my hands on the Mark III, I'm gonna do it. But I actually have a few pieces that I got from Revolve that I'm gonna show you guys right now and do a bit of a haul. I'm gonna officially start this The Best Year Journal. This is by The Intelligent Change. It's the same company that makes the five minute journal that I use every morning and they sent me this actually a while ago but I obviously wanted to wait for the new year to start it. I'm really 
really excited. I am going to see what's in here. I think they give you like journal prompts throughout the year. Let's see. Part one, reflection and gratitude. So this is going to be like a 2023 review. Some of the questions are top five happiness moments of the past year. What small things I've enjoyed doing the most during my day-to-day -day life. What did I do for the very first time in the last year? So it goes on. Oh, and it gives you like, you guys can pause to read, but it gives you prompts and then you journal about them. Ooh, I'm actually so excited to use this. I feel like this is going to be really motivating and inspiring to use throughout the year. So before I actually start writing in it, I'm going to read the how to use it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to sit on my bed and just kind of do some journaling. This is something that I want to implement more in 2024 is just sitting with my thoughts more, writing things out, just being better at documenting things and my feelings. And I feel like it's really healthy. So let's get journaling. 